All right, the problem I got with this tree, it fell right on my new sewer lines, which starts starts right here. You got four lines. So I'm having to park the tractor like about right here. So I'm not crossing them sewer lines with this uh, heavy tractor. And so what I'm doing then, I'll just, you know, I pulled it out a little ways. I back up, rechain it, rechain it tighter to the tractor and carry it on down there to the dump site. We'll head on down there here. take all this stuff I got to think about it last night I do burn wood in the winter uh, this is not what you'd call high quality wood but I will cut it up when it cools off and I'll just stack it up back here rick it up of course there's more to the tree and uh, I'll burn this in a uh, emergency type situation I always keep plenty of wood but uh, I'll have some reserves back here We'll pick this back up here in a couple minutes. So far, so good. All right, trip number two.
we're getting there. Playing next, I'm gonna try. I know that tractor will pull it. Tie it off right there. Try to pull the whole thing at one time. And my plan is to, I've got bluebirds been nesting in this house for years. And I really hate to disturb that. I may lower it down. I'm gonna lower it or cut it right above it. I feel more comfortable lowering the birdhouse. So we're gonna say that. I'm gonna lower that birdhouse cut it off about the height of a fence post or a little taller is going to be my plan take my zero turn my big zero turn mulch all this up get that old junky truck bed trailer I got and haul all this stuff off and uh, that's my plan starting to build up so We'll see. Pretty good pull there, but I got it. Pretty good pull. I say pretty good, I can feel it. Feel it through the track. That second gear, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. YouTube here we got a little update so far so good everything's cleaning up real nice took a little birdhouse down cut the tree off going to uh, remount the birdhouse pull the old chunky trailer out of the edge of the woods of course it's thundering right this second light uh, thundering so it's going to rain So, 
got the old junkie trailer out of the edge of the woods. Load this up real quick. Old tractor's done a good job pulling, as it should. And uh, put a little smoke out, but it's almost 50 years old. It's it's earned its right to uh, smoke. So anyhow. There's a few little limbs over here that I'm gonna get this lawnmower out. Mulch this up real quick, try to beat this rain, so. I'll uh, pick this back up when I got it done. Bye. What's going on, everyone? Who that 3020 here? It's 2.20 in the afternoon, and I am done with the tree removal. Almost like it was never even there. That's what I strive for. If you're gonna do the job, do it right. I even remounted the little bird house because little blue birds come there a couple times a year, every year. So I wanted to put that back up. But anyway, I got everything moved. Everything put back in its place. The old tractor did good today, pulling that stuff off as it should. And so, uh, that's pretty much it. It took me all day. I'm not fortunate enough to have front end loaders and all this uh, fancy type of stuff to, you know, bobcats and everything with clamps and whatnot to move this stuff. Just hook a chain up and drag it off and do it manual labor. But the end result is the same. So pleased with it. I appreciate everyone who will stick around and watch this. Uh, I'm going to splice all these together, make it as short as I can for my subscribers. But anyway, it's something to watch. And uh, I'm pleased with everything. So appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing welcome your comments and uh i've got to put this old junkie trailer back up put my chains up i'm gonna leave the tractor i'm gonna park the tractor up here by the house tonight so i can uh move that desk in the morning off my driveway and uh and uh get that thing put up and see what else i can get into tomorrow so thank y'all y'all have a good evening bye bye